Hello everybody, this is Charles Anderson. I'm just a guy from Goodwill, Oklahoma, and I've got a really great video game idea. So, I'm working on my tools, and I'm actually starting to move forward nicely again. I'm, uh, last week I, I had uh, posted my video, and I had uh, uh, received some advice on how to move forward. Uh, so I went ahead, plunked down 50, book, 50 bucks, got a couple of online books, and I learned I learned where it was that I was missing on my uh, multi-file loader. Okay, now as you can see, I've I've uh, commented out some crucial annotation here. So the uh, a lot of the functionality that I had in my project is currently disabled, uh, mainly be because I'm 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 just smacking uh, the relevance of all these these other <laughs> uh, to, 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 to comment the the way to to do up uh, uh some of the stuff because this generates uh auto generates something called uh generated layer xml in netbeans and you know all that stuff's here and what i learned about was layer xml uh this was the crucial piece of information that i was missing especially for a um a uh, multi uh multi file uh, type situation that I'm doing because uh, this will be the or nope this one's the main one and these two are going to be the products and well products and you know it's going to feed back into the project uh, but uh, these are only supposed to be represented by one node in the project so uh, I was having a big problem with my uh, my loader not being registered so uh, let's see oh Oh, this is this is the read read only layer of XML. Yeah, that's got way too much information. Here's here's my layer XML. Okay, yes, and and if you want to look at like the there is a read only uh, version, and you, you know it's you can just uh, let's see to access the read only version easily. You see this layer in context, and you just choose something random, and then you know just go to declaration. There we are, and it brings up the uh, uh, one that NetBeans uses, and it shows you a lot of stuff. So, anyway. Erp. Erp. Okay. So, I need to get to... <laughs> I need to just go over to my layer. Okay, here's my layer XML. <clears throat> and, uh... There we go. There's my factory. This is where I declared it and and the whole big thing is is this uh, position uh, this stuff it's irrelevant right now although I can access it later uh, but this is this is the important one as long as your number is the lowest uh, it goes from lowest to highest uh, in NetBeans and if your number is lower than some other loader then your loader gets called first you know and then you can either return null if if you didn't find the whole set or you know true if it's groovy or well, you know the you don't return true. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you return the the uh, uh, dibs thing. Uh, okay, TGB data. Ob okay, data node. That's the new file. And the reason that I'm posting now is because I'm I'm moving forward. And if I don't make sure to catch this stuff, I'll probably forget to mention it later because this was actually a crucial. A uh, piece of information that uh, just was not up there in the Net NetBeans forums, you know, for doing this. Oh, and uh, right now, uh, and the reason that I know my no loader is being called now, and it's to do with this layer, and you can make one for your project, just uh, derp, uh, show that right quick, you know, pop it in there. Of course, you can put it in, you know, on the module level, but I always like to put it just right here in the package, and we go new. Other module development, and there's the XML layer. There's one per module allowed, and for all your modules in your module suite, it'll you know smash them together and all that good stuff. So all right, let's let's play this right now. And right now I'm working on the uh, getting them uh, to properly get together, glom together here <laughs> okay and now you can see here 
Uh, here's where my little TTP thing is. There are no actions because I, I, I commented about that registration and I'm going forward with my new thing, you know, and there's no uh, double click open action. There's just no open action. There's no icon. But I know that my loader is being called and it's starting up the process because down here I have a nice little message. Derp -a derp -a derp. Uh. Yeah, here we are. Uh, because it's missing the Java and J3O file, but yes, this is how I know my loader is being, you know, called and and it's going. Yeah, dibs. <laughs> so, okay. Um, and now let's head back over because I've already I've already gotten to the point where. Okay, let's see. Multi-file loader. <coughs> Yep, I've got Java. And, of course, I've been reading over on the uh, JMonkey engine source, and, and, and I saw that they got dibs on something called the for the MIME type JME3 model, J3O. And so I've been reading on this and learning about properties for a shared data object, all that kind of good stuff, uh, some other stuff. But I'll, I'll keep reading on that. And, uh, let's see, was it data object? Yeah, okay. Yeah, here it is. And I just commented that out for the thing, so it would, you know, it would look different. And uh, I'll be changing this to go into that layer XML and pull the string from that. And that should be good. That way, that way, that some of that stuff will make sense in context, I guess. But uh, there we are. So yeah, right now I'm working on the nodes, and so a uh, new file, TGVE data node. And yeah, that that seems to 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 be it. So I've got my multi-file loader, which will call dibs. That's that phase, and then the data object, which is the data objects itself and some other stuff. And there we go. There's the icon for the node, and then I'll be putting some children underneath there. So, yeah, right now, leaf, it's not going to be a leaf here in a little while, but, you know, just saying, hey, here's where it's at before that. Okay, and yeah, uh, then I just got to do the whole actions and 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 get all those registered in manually so there we go uh... that's where i'm at and moving forward uh... speeding up and i'll just probably just start listing all the things that i'm adding but yeah that was the crucial bit was <laughs> xml layer hey yeah that's that's where you register stuff with the id and yay <laughs> it was something new but yeah that 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 alone pretty much uh, the relationship between multi, the loaders, the objects, and well, I already knew about the relationship with nodes and objects, but yeah, is that uh, getting dibs on multiple files that I just could not find that information, and it's in the layer XML. Uh, and make sure your number's lower, and your loader will be caught when that file comes across. And then, hey, if the main file's there, dude, call dibs. All right, y'all have a good. One.